Howdy, everybody! Good afternoon to you all. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon, the perfect time to play some classic games. Let's continue playing some Yoshi's Island today, shall we? It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Oh, that's right. Hang on, I forgot to actually put the proper disc in my GameCube. I better... I'll just be right back. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I forgot that my sister and I played a different game and I had to swap the discs. Anyhow, now we're going to continue with Yoshi's Island. It's gonna be fun. Nope, this is Fire Emblem. <laughs> Whoops, um, I'll be back. I'll be right back again, folks. <laughs> you know what's great about Colorful Arty streams, everybody? It shows you that Colorful Arty is. Not anybody special, or famous, or amazing. He is an extremely flawed human being. <laughs> and never forget that. Anyhow, we're on World 5 now today in Yoshi's Island, and we've been going at a rate of two worlds per stream, and there are only six worlds in the game, so we might end up beating the game this stream. Probably not, because these worlds are a lot longer, but we'll see. Anyhow. We are now in World 5. Let's just get started, shall we? This is kind of like a winter and sky themed world. Level 1. Blizzard! I remember this. It's got some really cool and beautiful background uh, effects, but it also has... Lakitu. Eh, we can't all be winners. So I think what we need to do is wait for Lakitu to come back and use him as a platform to get to that flower. Really? Baby Mario? Baby Mario's literally trapped up there and I can't get him. Wow. It's okay though, we have over 100 lives. Oh my god, how did we get that many lives? Oh, that's right, we did a lot of the matching games for the bonus levels. And we got 10 lives at the end of each one of them. I forgot about that. Come on. Oh wait, could we have literally... Could we have literally just gone to the other side? Oh well, we got Lakitu's Cloud, so maybe we can reach some out of... I don't know why Lakitu's throwing, like, volcanic bombs on this level. Actually, yeah, we literally just... Okay, so I made that harder than it needed to be. Welcome to Artie's Streams. We've been waiting for you. It would be nice to be able to see which ones of these are red. I'll just have to get them all! This works. In fact, it works very nicely. That was weird. The cloud went into the ground. Also, I don't- I'm not sure if I have any... star power items. That could be really bad, actually. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. There we go. That's what I wanted. Now, is this going to be a key or stars? That's a key. All right. I was pro I was thinking because that was a kind of a tricky one to get to. Ouch. No, 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 you're... Not for you. Alright, there is a little hidden thing there. Gotta get more eggs. Love it. Wait, did it disappear yet? Oh, there it is. 
Yes, please give me the star power. I kind of need that. I love the background effects on this level. The snow is so pretty. I don't, I don't, I'm not much of a fan of snow in real life, but... I like it for aesthetic purposes. Oh, those are trying to knock me into the pits. I'm going to assume that there's nothing down in the pits. That might be incorrect, but... Oh wow, penguins. I can't turn penguins into eggs. That would be too cruel, I guess. I probably should have entered bonus hut there, but... Is this going to be a helicopter ride? Yep, yep, find the five red coins. Do we have a magnifying glass? I do have some star power. Okay, good. Yeah, we're going to use the magnifying glass, because I have a hunch that uh, it's not going to let me use the helicopter more than once. Dun, 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 dun. All right, there's one. Oh yes, I like this. Thank you for telling me there are five red coins in here. <laughs> this helicopter is not fun, easy, or intuitive to control. Oh, I bet we could actually go up there again in order to take another ride. We don't need to, though. It said there were only five red coins up there. Throw in balloons! To throw the balloon, press the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Let's just... Let's just keep going. Booyah! A boing? I wonder if the strategy for this is to know exactly how big the balloon gets before it pops and to just wait for it to get just up to that point and then... I think you are forced to throw it after a certain time, though. But you could keep messing it up strategically. Oh. Well, that's, a, that's annoying. He, he purposefully messed it up, so that way I would get hit by it. That's fantastic. Maybe they maybe they hit a flower up here. And just for curiosity's sake, I'm going to see if we actually can... Oh, we can. You're cup becoming a helicopter! Oh, that's a dead end. That's weird. Some of the coins up here are no longer up here. How strange. How quaint. Oh yeah, you're not- you literally are forced to go back down. You can't even hover in time. Oh, Flying Penguin. I definitely gonna try and take him for a ride. If I can jump on his head. Oh my gosh, yep. Nothing? Oh, come on, that was actually kind of tricky to reach. I guess that shows you where the pipe is, but... Oh, we're in a cave. An ice cave. I hope that we get a checkpoint eventually, because we still don't have a checkpoint yet. here for a special prize? No, there's no special prize. I feel ripped off. At least the penguins don't actually hurt you, they just kind of bounce you around. It can still be annoying, but I definitely take that over them draining my star power. 
Yes! Oh, that's right, the magnifying glass affects the entire level, not just one room. Oh? You gotta get rid of those stalactites. At least some of them. Some of them will fall for you, and some of them will not. found very many flowers on this level, which is slightly concerning. I think we've only found two. Hey, Nintendo Addict! Welcome! Oh, is that what the penguins are called? Bumpies? That's kind of adorable. Dog on it. That's okay, I have star power-ups. Is right with the world now. Oh, nope. I gotta say, those guys are a lot easier to deal with now that I know you can literally just eat them. On my first two playthroughs, I always was like, oh, Shy Guy, I got a, a Shy Guy for Red Coin, I have to hit him with an egg. Which takes time. Eating him is a lot faster. Oh, hey, you. You didn't think we'd seen enough of Wackatoo, did you? No, 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 my egg! Okay, well. Is there a bottomless pit I can throw myself down? Nope. That's annoying. That shy guy, I swear, was only on screen for half a second. Yoshi's just licking some of the snowflakes. <laughs> Yoshi's like, mmm, snowflakes! Baby Mario's like crying his little mouth off. <laughs> Alright. Not too bad. We, we, we got a checkpoint, so there's not a whole lot we have to repeat. Oh man, but my hourglass wore off. That's slightly irritating. And of course, it wouldn't be an arty stream if garage doors didn't go off. Ouch. Watch out, those stalactites are spiky. No, you stupid penguin. That's my baby. go. Alright. Back to the outdoor area. ready for him that time. Okay, I definitely want to steal Lakitu's cloud. I'm always afraid they're gonna hide, like, a single red coin really high up. Hey, Prince Dusk, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Will oh, no, stupid Lakitu. <laughs> I hate how he pops out of nowhere. Interesting. Uh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Alright, we need Wagon 2 to help us get up there, I think. There he is. 
We need him to get lowered down, though. There we go. Oh, hey. Is this... Well, there is one red coin up here. I'm already full on star power, though. I think we're at the end of the level, too, so we're just missing free red coins. I don't like that. <laughs> we could have... Oh, don't, don't worry about it, Prince Dusk. It's all water under the bridge. Cloud, I want to see if there are red coins high up. Alright, well, this is at the end of the level, so... Aha! Oh, no! Okay, okay. Hmm. Okay, uh... Oh, man. Do I have... Full egg refill. I don't. Okay. I'm gonna need... Gonna need eggs, and unfortunately the little penguins don't give you eggs. You can't eat them. Apparently Yoshi has... And also apparently Lakitu won't give us eggs either. But you know it will. Little cactus ball. Oh, and that piranha plant, if we eat his projectiles. Okay. Yum! Yum! Yes, there we go. And I have a plus ten star that I can use at the end anyways. I'm pretty sure this is where the last red coins are going to be. I get two. Getting on my nerves. Well, that's annoying. I have to go back again. It's kind of weird how the eggs can collect stuff for you, but, like, spinning a penguin won't. Wait, do we have all the flowers? We don't. Well, that's unfortunate. You... That's not even the last red coin. Whatever. Pff, I'm not searching everywhere for those flowers. <laughs> if you look close, you can tell the reds apart even without the magnifying glass. I cannot. I swear I can't see the difference. I'll have to look real closely. Alright, well, that was a bit of a bust. Spent a lot of, a lot of time on that level and we didn't get 100%. Oh, rats. That's okay. Oh, this level I remember. Level 2 and level 3 of this world I remember being really tough. Ride the ski lifts. It's a platforming level. There's some very precise platforming being needed. Oh, yay, snowballs! I forgot about snowballs. I forgot snowballs existed. They look darker than the normal... Okay, I'm gonna have to keep a lookout for that then. Because I swear I don't see any difference. Yeah, that looked exactly the same as the other coins. At least to me. They all just looked yellow. Checkpoint already? Really? Oh wow, thanks for the flower. Very nice. Whoop. Yeah, the ski lifts. Tiny little platforms. And of course people try to knock you off from them. Which is most rude of them. This like to plot ain't gonna last forever. That's a well hidden little egg flower. This time, Wagatu. 
<sighs> All right. No, 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 no. And I didn't grab the checkpoint. That's okay. This gives me an opportunity to look more closely and see if there is the red coin difference. It's not that I don't believe you guys. It's more just... I myself just can't see the difference. Okay. I know some of those are red coins. Some of these I know are red coins. I literally can't see any difference. None. I know there's a slight subtle difference in the SNES version. I, on the GBA version, I cannot tell. There probably is a difference, and I'm just... I don't know, maybe my eyesight is not as good as I thought it was. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, this time I'm aware that there are Lakitu's. slippery and I don't like it. I know that fits in with the nature of the winter themed levels, but you got in my way, Alakatu. How could you? Is there nothing up there? At all? Oh, was that what we're supposed to do? Oh, wait. It also occurs to me that might not be a bonus area. That might be where you're supposed to go. I'm gonna grab the... <laughs> I'm gonna grab the checkpoint this time. Because <laughs> I thought you would have to go down in order to proceed with the level, and I assumed this was a bonus area, but it actually might not be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the way you're supposed to go. It's a good thing I... Yeah. Alright. Really seemed like it was something bonus related. Lakitu. Doesn't Yoshi ski in this level? Um, I think that's the next level. Camera. Please let me move. Camera in this game is really bad. Submit! <laughs> Indeed. Yes! What? Are you still- <sighs> That just has free star points in it anyways, I don't care. Get it. There we go. Blip, 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 blip. No, no, no! Ah, got it! The hover controls in this are a little wonky at times. I see, I remember this level being really annoying. Okay, we're probably not gonna make it through the, to the end of the game this stream. <laughs> Even if we have the time for it, I might not have the patience for it. <laughs> no, no! 
go! I freaking hate Lakitu! I feel like Lakitu is significantly more annoying in this game than he is in, like, every other Mario game. Except Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. He sucks in that. <laughs> and by that I mean he's really annoying when you face him in battle mode. <laughs> It's true, I don't. I don't drink tea anyways. No, don't bounce me down! Yeah, like, Lakitu's not flying low enough for me to actually hit him. I want his cloud. Alright, here we go. Go. Lakitu should still be kept busy for a little bit. There we go. I wish the ski platforms were a little more plentiful. Yes! Thank you, Lakitu. It is very satisfying to get Lakitu's cloud. Oh, did I just shoot another Lakitu out of the sky? That's fantastic. Watch your big- Oh, you missed some red coins down there. Whatever. I already did it 100% the first level. Oh, I forgot about the little snowman. Even though he's the mascot of the level. You have to physically look up, otherwise it won't work. That was weird. If it's not on screen, I can't hit it. That's strange. This is very strange. Oh, man. Oh, I hate this. Baby Mario already has really slippery controls. Combine this with an icy floor, oh, it's even worse. Dr. Freezegood is the name of the snowman? That's hilarious. I love it. I also don't think you can eat him. Nope. Yoshi cries when he tries eating the snowman. I saw you try to trap me there, buddy. Who do you think you are, Spider-Man? No! Ah! I don't like the hover controls. That's fine. We got a recent checkpoint, and we don't have to go back to the Baby Mario area again. I know there's nothing there. At least nothing in the realm of red coins and flowers. Let me... Wow, it literally just didn't let me hover. That's great. I was holding A the whole... If you hit your head on the ceiling, does it just eat your hover? That's... <laughs> if so, that's very annoying. Dr. Freezegood is great. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let it, did a little scientific test. Yep, it eats your hover if you hit a ceiling. Alright, new strategy. We're gonna hit that with an egg. Just jumping on it seems to be, like, a very bad idea. Okay. Can you ground pound Dr. Freeze? Well, he doesn't hurt you. He just exists to be a nuisance. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, now Artie needs to work on his aim. Can, oh no, can you not hit these? Oh my gosh, you... Wow, this is awful. Wait, that time it didn't eat my hover. Oh! Okay, I don't like this at all. You can destroy Dr. Freeze with a normal jump on the head? Really? I thought I tried that. Oh no, sure enough, you can. Well, the level told me to ride the ski lift, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I hate- oh, I forgot about this part. Having to jump over the freeze goods riding this. Behind me! I don't like it. I don't like the Sam I am. I don't like that either, Sam I am! That was the last flower. Alright. Alright, I have a little bit more of a safety net now. I don't like this platforming. Only thing that would make this worse is ice physics. Ice physics on the ski lift. By that. Oh, that was the last red coin. No, it ain't my hover! Ah, why does the game sometimes eat my hovers? No, now I have to do the ski lifts again. are so slow. Think of him as an imposter. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't exactly help. Oh no! What? There's, Yoshi's a little slippery at the end of a jump, which definitely makes it nerve-wracking any time we have to jump back on the ski lift! Last red coin. Camera? You suck, camera, but didn't matter anyways. No bonus game, don't even care. We got 100%. <sighs> Oof. Thank goodness we don't have to do that level again. That is such a nerve wracking level. Yeah, that camera was literally trying to kill me. Alright, but this level I remember being even worse. I remember this being one of the toughest levels in the game. Level 3, danger, icy conditions ahead. Time for ice physics! This is an icy stage. Be careful, it's slippery and difficult to walk. Grab a red watermelon and you can breathe fire three times. Use it to melt ice or to attack your icy enemies. How's everyone's morning? My morning's been going... Okay. Uh, I accidentally slept in way later than I wanted to, so I feel kind of lazy today. But other than that, I'm doing just fantastic. So this level is kind of like a puzzle stage, which is cool. Also, don't enter that icy water, you will die. Penguin. 
Thank you, Mr. Flower. Why is that little bump just sticking up? Is that literally just decoration? Because I don't really trust that. That's evil. Putting a piranha at a tiny platform when there's ice physics. What a jerk move. This first part is not as hard as I remember it. They often say top root is best root, but I don't think that's the case here. Although... Yeah, that looked suspicious. This is the level where we're gonna go skiing. And I'm not a fan of that part, because it's very easy to miss red coins on the ski slopes. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Dusk. That's not a pleasant way to wake up. Well, that was weird. Wouldn't let me jump. That's okay, we literally just got a checkpoint. Lucky us. Why is there an icy watermelon on this level? Fix this. Maybe. No. Okay, we gotta have Baby Mario run all the way to the end then. Just just in case. Secret exit! Secret exit. Does this actually take us anywhere new? I also hope I got all the red coins on the path before this. Uh oh. I don't have a magnifying glass, so I can't see how many of these are red! Hooray! Oh, this is gonna be terrible. Maybe none of them are red. I'm gonna assume none of those were red, and that it's just a way to get extra lives. But it's always a jerk move if they're like, we're gonna sneak one red coin in there, herp a derp a skirp. I know you can literally just jump on their heads. They, <laughs> Dr. Freeze Good is nowhere near as intimidating. <laughs> that could have been bad. Yeah, so this level is ice physics, the level. <laughs> well, that's not very nice. <laughs> Lame enemy, awesome name. Yeah, that's how I feel about Dr. Freeze Good. He has a cool design, though. Uh, baby Mario. 
Mario, you gotta run faster. Yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure that that was the only red coin. That's also the only red coin on the way here. Get to go to the helicopter ride now. Yeah, the spikes are... That was a very mean place to put spikes. <laughs> Can I get a helicopter equipped with machine guns, like in Advance Wars? Because that would be a lot more useful. Which, honestly, the transformations in this game... They're a cool idea. They're not that fun. Like, the car is, I guess, kind of fun, and that's about it. And you only get that one once, I think, in the entire game. <laughs> You'd love to see an Advance Wars stream? Well, the re they are remaking that. If, like, when the remake comes out, I probably am gonna get it, and I might I might do this in stream for that. Uh, I ate my hover again. I don't know what... Like, if I understood exactly what mechanics caused the hover to get eaten, I could at least plan for it a little bit more, but no. It just seems to be kind of random. Alright. Spike's coming up. We're destroying all of these, just to be absolutely certain that we're not gonna die. And we'll go back and refill on eggs again. Yeah, that's what I saw. The Advance Wars remake is going to be 1 and 2 together. I only played a tiny bit of 2, and I I played the multiplayer for 1, and I never played the single player, really. So that could be interesting. I could try to do the single player. It's basically like, it's similar to modern day Fire Emblem, basically, with like tanks and stuff. I like the, I also like the commanders having different, like, stats. That makes for an interesting time. Oh boy, it's a Goonie. Alright, not bonus shack, it's time for ski shack. Thankfully we get a checkpoint just before this. So if we miss a red coin, which we almost certainly are going to. I'm pretty sure I missed a red coin there somewhere. Actually, how many, how, what are my stats? I have the max star points right now. I'm missing six coins and two flowers. I don't have another magnifying glass either, so mm, that's unfortunate. It would be nice to be able to see exactly which coins are red. Actually, I might grind up on those in the, bon in the World 1 bonus game. That is such an annoying jump to make. That's also an annoying jump to make. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can roll into a snowball and then just... There you go. We're gonna go on a ski ride, it's gonna be so fun. Except the controls aren't that great, but what a well what can be done. How do you jump high at that point? Oh no! Is calling Advance Wars Modern Day Fire Emblem not something that the fans are like? I missed one red coin, didn't I? That's okay. I know that last red coin is in here. It's probably above the... 
Advanced Wars 1 was sort of a testing ground to see if Fire Emblem would have a market in the West. Interesting. I thought they put Fire Emblem in the West because of Melee. And people were like, these Fire Emblem characters sound pretty cool. How... How the butts are you supposed to jump that high? Fans hate the comparison of Advanced Wars and Fire Emblem. They're both turn-based strategies. And you're both trying to destroy units. I don't know. They're pretty similar. They're not exactly the same, but there are definitely a lot of similarities. They play similarly. Oh, I hate that. How in the world are you supposed to jump to reach those coins? Do you have to do it, like, way in advance while you're, like, going down a hill? I... Yeah, see, this is why I don't really like the skiing. Alright. Okay, there we go. Okay, interesting. Wait, I'm stupid. Okay, I know how to do it now. It's double hop. I don't know why the physics on the double hop work and let you get that, but okay. Hope you all like the athletic music. There we go. Last red coin. Excellent. There we go. Alright, now we just have to survive the slopes. Only reason Marfa and Roy were in US is because Sakurai had no time to replace them in the inter Really? That's interesting. Well, I'm really glad that they did make it into Melee. I think that the Fire Emblem series would be very, very different in the West were it not for them. That was a dumb idea. <laughs> that was a skeleton goonie. Why are the skeleton goonies here outside of World uh, 6? And then Yoshi just ditched the skis, and there we go! Wow, we 100%ed that one, too. I'm surprised. So... So out of the first three winter levels, it was only the first one, which is the easiest, that I did not, 100%. I'll take it. We got 100%. And it makes me happy. No bonus games yet, but that's okay. Oh, right. Off this is a tough level. Noticing the trend? Level 4, Sluggy the Unshaven's Fort. This is definitely an interesting level. Why is there a pipe up there? I can't reach that. Yeah, Marv and Roy are the best known Fire Emblem characters thanks to Melee. Maybe not anymore now that, like, Awakening is, is out. Hi, Chain Chomp. It's weird that there's only a Chain Chomp in here. Like. If I eat an ice water. Oh, wait. Here's an idea. Will he turn into a question mark balloon? <laughs> I'll take it! So that's what the question mark balloon power up does. Oh boy, a coin! Just an info box? This is top secret, so listen up on the level selection screen. Hold select and press L, L, B, A, and R. Wow. 
Why do I feel like this is the game's version of like, oh, hey, if you're having computer problems, just hit Alt F4. <laughs> hey, that's my baby. You can't have it. Oh, that's why there's the pipe there. Yeah, I don't know my way around this. This is probably the fort that I'm least familiar with, so... Ugh! I don't like all of these spikes here. Oh, thank goodness. Let's get out of here. I still find it amusing that Roy, technically the first game Roy ever was in, it was Melee. Because Melee predated his own game. Yeah. Slime. Here are the slugs. Don't act so surprised, buddy. You try to kill me, I try to kill you. That's how it works. Yay! Wow, that was an easy enemy <laughs> set to fight. Yeah, I've heard Roy... I haven't played Fire Emblem 6 very much. I've played, like, the first couple chapters. Roy definitely seems very different in that compared to how he is in Melee. Same with Marf. Marf seems very serious in Smash Bros, and apparently he's, like, a goody two-shoes in his game. Kind of amazed he didn't, wasn't able to grab me. Come on. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Let me just go off screen and, for the power of video game logic, the platform returns for us. Oh no. I don't like this. This one bit. It's like one of those toys at the dentist office. Oh wait, did I just screw up? I think I did. It's my baby! It's my baby and I want him now. Alright, only one for- oh no. Darn it. And there's no midway. Yeah, yeah, the stage pranks you if you hit the clouds too early. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, no, no checkpoint either. Back to the start. I remember this fort being really big and open, so it's often tough to know which is the proper way to go and which is the way that... which is the way of the bonus stuff. The fact that there's nothing over there is kind of weird. idea what those little blob things that I just spat out are. Because they're not the slugs. Yeah, 
I was trying to go... Before I died, I was trying to go back to this warp pipe, so that way... I could reset the staircase. I bet I've already missed something in the main room, but... Eh. Whatever. Those thorns always worry me, because you can destroy them, so it's like, oh, we hid one red coin underneath one of these thorns. That's probably what the Yoshi's Island ROM hacks would do, but not the main game, right? There are no red coins up there. There are no bears on Hemlock Mountain. <sighs> Stop hitting the ceiling, buddy. Take it slow, it actually goes faster. Oh man, but now we have to go back on this spiral platform of death. I hate this. Spiral platform of death worries me greatly. Alright, we are not hitting the question mark balloon this time around. We'll hit this one, though. Did we just screw up again? <laughs> Did we screw up again? One coin, how wonderful. I'm not going through that gate. Ah, uh, dug on it. You have to go. You have to go in the middle and then hit both of them, don't you? Oh. Do I care about trying to get 100% that much? No. No, I don't. And it wouldn't let me jump around that, either. Nested prank, yeah. That's kind of brilliant, but also, like, yeah, <laughs> kind of annoying. Alright, well... I'm just gonna go to the end, then. <laughs> Actually, wait. Can I...? I cannot just return to the map. Although, what I can do... Yeah, we might just be going through World 5 today. What I can do is hit no. And now, I want to try what they were saying earlier. I actually took a photo of the advice. From the selection screen, hold select L L B A R. Oh, when, by selection screen, did they mean like the level selection? All right. Select L L B A R. Mini battles! Oh! I did not know about this. I mean, why would I play those for fun, though? That's cool, though. I like it when games put in, like, cool little secrets like that for no real reason. And it adds a little something something. Alright. I'm not gonna fall for the nested prank this time. Actually, I might. I'm probably. Eh, maybe I should have just continued with the level because realistically, I'm probably not gonna get 100% on this level. It's so big and confusing, and uh, I'm not familiar with it at all. Memory serves, though. The second half of World 5, I remember being a bit easier than the first half. You're probably gonna eat my words. But that's okay. Words can be deli- Hmm. That was interesting. It's like I landed on it, but then it pushed me out to the left. Cursed gelatin platforms! 
can't believe Sluggy the Unshaven Fort is what's giving me the most trouble in this world. Alright, eight times the charm, folks. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, this fort's a little bit annoying. Just a tad. I normally kind of like the castle levels, even if they are a bit on the tough side. They're a little more open than the regular levels. The regular levels are generally pretty linear. I do like exploring the different rooms in the fortresses. It also tends to be less annoying platforming. Generally. Just close your eyes, Yoshi. It'll all be over soon. I am glad the spinning platform here doesn't push you as far to the left as you might think. But it's still... I can't tell where the platform begins and where it ends, which is worrying. Alright. This time. Okay. Okay. Going to stay here in the middle. I'm gonna hit this one. We still need to get into that room. So now we're gonna go over here and now we're gonna hit this one. Are you. <sighs> That was wrong. We need to get up here somehow. Okay. Are you seriously going to make me have... I don't like this puzzle anymore. Ride this back. Now we're going to go back into the warp pipe. Reset the staircases and try this again. Thankfully, there's a warp pipe here that we can use to reset the staircases. This is really tricky. need to go up. Alright. Let's try it the other way around. Let's hit this staircase first and then the other staircase. Worst case, because this staircase is on the left side, we can always go back to the warp pipe. I don't think making that hole will do anything, but... At least here we can get the star power. And we can go down here. Did this actually not lead to anything? Oh, well this is stupid. No matter which way we go, we're going to be missing coins. What the heck is that? A 
purple Brussels sprout. Yeah, I don't like this dungeon. <laughs> it's too open, there are too many ways to go. And there's... There's no way to, of, to, of knowing which way is the correct way until you actually go... Are you serious? Oh, okay. Oh, but now the staircases have reset. But... I don't like this dungeon! some off the bat's heads over and over again. Okay, that's actually a really clever puzzle. I'm assuming that- wow, there was no- not even any red coins up there. I'm confused. I have 100% of this level once before. I have actually 100% of this game up to World 6. Stuff, but I don't. Was that really the way we're supposed to go? It seems very strange. Uh -oh. well, that's unfortunate. Fell off the seesaw. We weren't supposed to fall off the seesaw. A gelatinous platform. Oh, hey! Oh, really? There was no red coin on that, so okay. I'll take it. Uh, I don't trust anything that has eyes like that. I guess uh, we have to let him give us a ride. It's okay, folks. He promised us candy, so it's okay. This room is why it's the hardest level to vote percent. I never thought about doing a low percent run. I do like doing... Wait. Okay, I'm like, that was not the last red coin. I thought I heard the last red coin jingle. Nope. I was gravely mistaken. This is such a weird dungeon.
Bats, stupid bugs. We have all the flowers. We're only missing two red coins? Really? What color me surprised? No, 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 oh no, no, not here. Not like this, not like this, not like this! Like this. When was the last checkpoint we got? Actually, not too long ago. Okay, you are a red coin. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to take the others. Okay, yeah, yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. Boom, boom, boom. I do not understand what just happened there. I'm guessing it knocked me off and then it turned my jump into a hover. I'd be a lot more concerned if I had if I had fewer than 167 lives. Okay, yeah. This is how you're supposed to do it. I freaking hate it when it drops my jump inputs. That is the correct idea, though. You get the red coin, then you use the uh, seesaw to go down and enter the game. There. That is how it's supposed to be done. If, the, if all of the red coins are actually in this room, I'm going to be very surprised. That means there's a ton of bonus stuff and on this level that is just unnecessary. So when I was a kid, every time Yoshi, like, scratched his chin, it looked like he was picking his nose to me. That is not what he was doing, but that's what it looked like to me as a kid. Even though his nostrils are way higher up. Not even close. Ah! <sighs> Sluggy! You stupid- your stupid fort is really annoying! Thankfully, the castle in this world is a lot more fun. Still difficult, but a lot more fun. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be beating the game today, folks. Can't see, can't hurt ya. This myth has been busted. Baby Mario just like deflates when Yoshi ducks. I'm just waiting for the last two red coins to actually be in this room. I would. I wish, I wish with all my heart to get all the red coins in the land of heart. In a land of I don't even remember how that wish goes. That's the Dragon Tales wish. That show was the bomb. When you were like four years old. Now it's a lot harder to watch. 
Wheezy's just so annoying, that gosh darn it. Sure hope that's not a red coin over there. I think it was, actually. I tried to aim the egg. I couldn't. <laughs> hey, Tomato Watcher. Welcome. We're just playing Sluggy the Unshaven Sport for the 8,000th time, because I keep dying on it like a loser. Like a loser. I'm getting pretty good at repeating this part over and over again. Zack was always my favorite on that show. He was very sympathetic. He had to deal with a sister like Wheezy who was attached to him at all times. Very relatable. Well, that was close. That was a very near thing. <sighs> We're also probably going to die to Sluggy and Shaven a few times. That's assuming that we do actually get all the red coins. Which is a pretty big if. Oh, that one. That wasn't even a red coin at all. I'm not cutting any of this out of the YouTube video. You have to watch me suffer. I know, there's no way to know of knowing if I even missed red coins. I'm almost certain I've missed at least one red coin. There was so much in the dungeon I didn't get. Yeah, I, I'm beginning to think people do like watching me suffer. I don't know why, though. I'm not very entertaining when I'm having a bad time. Then again, I'm also not very entertaining when I'm having a good time, either. Self-deprecation! I blame Yellow Yoshi. Yellow Yoshi is a bad color Yoshi. Yes, I'm weird. I don't like the color yellow. Okay, so you can, you can move the camera up and down with the control stick. But there doesn't seem to be any way to move it left or right. <laughs> yellow Yoshi will remember that. It's nothing personal, Yellow Yoshi. I just personally don't like the color yellow that much. You're better than, like, Tan Yoshi, for which is who's on level 6. I am getting so sick of this level. I'm playing badly. Mainly because I'm getting so frustrated, I'm trying to speed through it, and I'm making dumb mistakes, but... This is my least favorite Ford in the game. Blue was the only good one. <laughs> Light blue or dark blue? I like green Yoshi. Green Yoshi's great. I also really like dark blue, but dark blue is the least used Yoshi. Because you don't ever use him in World 6.
Yo, yo, she was the... Oh, oh, you're talking... You're talking about Blue is the only good one in Mario World. Yes, I agree. Blue Yoshi was amazing in Mario World. I mean, Blue Yoshi could literally fly. You give him any shell and he could fly. Just like Peter Pan. Took all of the last two red coins are in those thorns. You gotta destroy them all. Hope not. Okay, those two are not red coins. Last flower. Got another red coin. We have two left. My gosh, we didn't miss anything. I am so happy. And also extremely surprised. No, I'm not gonna let him hit me with that mace. Well, oh, that's a jerk thing to do. Okay, if that if that guy had knocked me off the cliff there, I would have been very upset. Please, give me a checkpoint. Please give me a checkpoint. Okay, slugs. I like slugs. They're easy eggs. They're very unthreatening. There better be a there better be a checkpoint ring before the boss. If I have to fight do that entire section again every time I fail at the boss, I'm gonna be an unhappy camper. Just like Reader Rabbit in the Kinder Yes! Oh my gosh, just double checking. Yes! I can't believe that I actually got 100 percent on that level when I missed so much. Alright, this is the weirdest boss in the game, if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Yoshi! To get this far, you must be full of power! But, this slug has no weak points! Is anybody ever a happy camper? You're not from Michigan, are you, Mobius? Michiganders love camping, alright. Giant slug. Don't let him touch you. you. Gotta hit his heart. And he keeps slowly moving forward. And we can go back and get more eggs as well. I don't think there's any way to actually take damage in this fight. I think he can only push you off a cliff, which he's getting dangerously close to doing. Uh oh, this is bad. Come on! <laughs> Suck it, sluggy! <laughs> oh yeah, I can ground pound to make it the plant give eggs faster. <laughs> In your face! Oh my gosh. <laughs> that shouldn't have worked. <laughs> you know what? <gasps> After everything that that level put me through, that's just the best ending it could have been. <laughs> Alright. The t the really nasty part of World 5 is over with. Now I think it gets a little bit easier. Not much, but a little. Goonie Rides! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
That's gonna be a Twitch highlight. <laughs> So are these little seagull enemies called Goonies? Oh, Big Goonie. I think they are. Wait, ooh. They are very much called Goonies. I thought that's what they were called, given the name of the level. Well, thanks. <laughs> Alright, level 5 again! Goonie rides! <laughs> I like the purple color Yoshi. Purple Yoshi is pretty cool. I don't much like purple that much in real life. Like, I don't wear it ever, but... It's an interesting color, and it looks good on Yoshi. So here the Goonies are just dive-bombing us with... Enemies. Okay. Thanks. It's trying to turn him into an egg, and then it's like, oh, ground pound into the bottomless pit? You betcha, fam! It almost happened again. Also, I'm disappointed that the fat goonies don't give you big eggs. Wasted opportunity. Ow! I'm a little creeped out that some of these goonies are literally just heads. Oh, you can actually flat out... Okay, so there's nothing up there. You know, I'll take it. That worked out. Alright. Oh, no. Okay, we gotta use these goonies as a platform. <laughs> you know, Yoshi's Island, despite being a fun 2D platformer, the platforming leaves something to be desired. <laughs> if you ask me, why are we back in Ice World? I thought it was going to be one of those defeat all the enemies to get a flower fans. There are Goonies in Yoshi's story? I don't remember that. I didn't play all the levels in it, but I beat the game. How do we get up there? I thought that was going to be a red coin. Oh, this is how we get up here. That's weird. Oh, oh. That's telling you how to get these red eggs. Well, I got one. <laughs> So, but didn't miss anything. Oh no. Why? What? This game loves Helicopter Yoshi and Mole Yoshi, and both of those transformations suck. It is so impossible to control this thing. <sighs> like, it feels like you're controlling a real helicopter, and that's not a compliment. 
No. No. So this is where all the red coins are. No. That's okay. <laughs> What's with the weird emotive face, Nintendo Addict? What happened? Were you... <sighs> Did I mention that I hate the helicopter? <laughs> Cause I do. <laughs> Say, did I mention you ruined Christmas? Cause you did! It's okay, let's have bad controlled helicopter Yoshi have to fight off against a bunch of flying goonies with almost no room to maneuver around them. And if he gets hit, he can just instantly die. Brilliant, give that man a raise. Let's make a whole level based off of that. Oh, 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 thank goodness I fell onto a goonie. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh, you were making that face from, like, that's what the egg face was. Okay, I get you. Next on stars. Give me more eggs, please. Is that all I can get over here? All right. I'm gonna assume that's all I can get over there. And thus the Goonies turned into coins for um, reasons. Watermelon. Are you serious? There we go. Oh, there was nothing even there. What a waste of an ice watermelon. Never mind. The earth is saved! Wow, this ice watermelon is lasting a long, long time. Much longer than usual. It's pretty nice, actually. I think these are all just regular. They're not- Oh boy! That was the last red coin. Do I have all the flowers as well? I've <laughs> seen two. <laughs> Great. Just like frosted flakes. That's okay. As, as in the grand scheme of things, if we don't get 100% on Goonie rides, I'm okay with that. How the heck are we supposed to get up here? I have no idea. There's no way both of the flowers were up there, though. I bet both of the flowers were somewhere in the he freaking helicopter maze. That's okay. Man, no bonus games thus far in World 4, or World 5. That's kind of strange. Alright, not a great score. I bet you the flowers were hidden in the helicopter maze somewhere. Oh boy, worst color Yoshi! On level 6. 
Welcome to Cloud World! Oh no, it's an auto score. You know how much I hate this. Oh, and even more fun. We can't even see... We can't even see where we can walk on the cloud. Leave it to lack to, to never fly low enough so that we can actually, like, hurt him. Thus far, it's not too hard. Look! Baseball boys! Hi, buddy. You know, if you wanted to join my backyard baseball team, I would be happy to have you. Um... What? I'm not entirely sure what just happened there, but alright. Like, is there any reason for this beginning part to be an auto-scroller? I can't see any reason. Stop spitting them all off screen! That's why it's an auto score, to make it more annoying. That is literally the only reason auto scores exist in video games, is to make levels more annoying to face. Like, I can't think of a single time in video game history where I'm like, oh, I'm really glad this is an auto score. Oh, wait, this is a red coin. Some of the red co sometimes the red coins are outlined. The ones on the Blizzard level were absolutely not, though. I did see at that time, though, there was a slight red tint to them. I still have no idea what the heck those enemies even are. <laughs> Trying to hit me with that bat there, buddy? Oh, great. Oh my gosh! They are collecting the red coins for me. Yeah, auto <laughs> Is there anybody out there who can, like, actually honestly say that they like auto-scrollers? I have not met anybody. Other than, like, oh, they're, like, a cool idea. It's like, maybe, but they're still not, like, fun to play. Well, this is one of those levels, I'm pretty sure if we get 100%, we're going to need one of those star power power-ups. Thank you. Thank you for the cloud. Man, Lagatou spawns often on this level. I think there are two Lagatous. Yeah, there's definitely two Lagatous. Baby Mario, stop running away from me. Wow, Lakitu literally is just like, oh no, don't jump at me, and like, ran off, he was so scary. Is this whole level an auto-scroller? I don't remember. I just know that I'm not feeling very welcome to Cloud World. Oh, yay! No more auto scroller. Yay. Oh, 
Okay, that pipe you can go into. Um... Hello? Why is it- What?! Why was it doing the minigame music?! There's no minigame there. Camera. Thank you. Oh, ho, ho. Honestly, the baseball boys are some really cool enemies, and they make for some interesting puzzles. I would definitely not mind seeing them in another Mario game. Um, he's out of balls. Thank goodness they respawn up. What are spikes doing up in the clouds? Ow, oh, what the butts? Gusties, you're not supposed to be able to hit me that hard. Gusties are such trolls. Like, look at their smile. Oh! I was almost a dumb, stupid head. <sighs> this game is sadistically difficult at times. We're not even getting into the extra levels yet, which is where the real fun happens. Sure hope, sure hope you couldn't go up in that pipe. I don't think so. Alright, last red coin. And that's the last flower! Sweet! All that's left is to use a plus 20, which I do have. There we go! Cloud World 100%. Excellent. Man, World 5 does not want to give me bonus games. That's okay. Do, 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 do. Not too bad for World 5. The two, world, the two levels that I have to repeat for 100% are not that hard. Alright, before we go to Dancing on a Cliff, I mean, uh, level 7. Gotta grind up on some star power items. And and if I see some magnifying glasses, I'm also going to get those as well. Every time. Do do do. Seriously! I swear, every time I play this, where, wherever I shoot first, Kamek's just like, Duh, You're such a stupid idiot! <laughs> okay, like, seriously. It is 1 in 8. Each time this happens, that is a 1 in 8 chance. Okay, there we go. 3 plus 20? Yes, please! I want to make sure I have that for this level. Alright, level 7. Shifting platforms ahead. I remember this being a fun level. I like Red Yoshi. Ooh. 
This is kind of like the sequel to Ride Like the Wind from World 4. That was another fun level. A lot of moving platforms, but these these are a little big, bigger. <gasps> One out of 512 chance for uh, Kamek in that spot three times in a row. Yep. That's me! Lucky Artie. And by that I mean very unlucky Artie. No eggs. This is a little bit annoying. <laughs> More gr no, the same thing happened! Wow, and it ate my hover. Great! Yum, yum, yum. I guess it's appropriate in a game starring Yoshi who eats everything for your hovers to get eaten. <laughs> your inputs to get eaten should be, I guess, more precise. Although some of the... F some of the physics on the platforms while they're moving can change abruptly, which is not much fun. Red coins. Oh boy, ravens. Been waiting for these guys. Ravens are cute little enemies. I like ravens in real life, though. Birds in general are pretty awesome. Why is there a circle outline for a platform there, but no actual platform there? Suspicious! No. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Probably a spawning error. Maybe! This is basically like moving platforms to level. It's honestly a pretty fun one. I love the background. Platform Carousel is probably my favorite of the moving platforms. What the butts? Goonie, save me! Goonie, save me! No, Goonie, you didn't save me! <laughs> I was too heavy for Goonie to save me. Why is there a warp pipe there? <laughs> Speedy boy. <laughs> yeah, the red platforms go very, very fast. Okay, so apparently if you are riding a platform and then a, you uh, land on a goonie, you don't land on the goonie, you actually just take damage, even though you don't take damage from landing on a goonie in any, any other situation. Cool. That's just great. Oh, is this... Still wondering why that pipe was back there. No, no, no! Oh no, Goonie. Goonie, you gotta save me. Goonie, you gotta save me. Yes, Goonie. Just like this, Goonie. Just like this, Goonie. No, no, the screen's running out. No, Goonie, you ruined me! Thanks a lot, Goonie. 
Goonies, one Goonie saved me, the other Goonies I can't. <laughs> so on, sucker. Our stats looking. We only have two red coins. <laughs> oh, we are. Oh, those were the only two red coins we've gotten on this level. Wow, that's humiliating. No! What a jerk thing to do! Goonie, save me! Goonie, save me! Goonie, don't want to save me. How is it we made it to the first checkpoint without getting any red coins? Do not like how your jump height is affected based on the momentum of the platform. You could argue it's good physics. I don't like it, though. I like my jumps to be consistent. Baby Mario. No, you goonie! What a goon. What moon calves? Fast boy, fast boy, fast boy! Save me. What, what exactly was I supposed to do there? Mr. Raven was like, you're not getting on my sphere. This is mine, I like it. Gourds only. It's fine. I actually do enjoy this level a lot, so I'm okay with repeating it a bunch. Much more so than, say, Sluggy the Unshaven's Fortress. If that yellow platform had despawned, that would have been bad. <laughs> Rated E for everyone. Well, it's sadistically difficult, but yeah, I guess anyone can play it. That doesn't mean everyone should. <laughs> Why are Yoshi's games either, like, mind-numbingly easy or, like, soul-taintingly difficult? There's not really any in-between. What the- No! But I waited it! Goonie, save me! Goonie, save me! No, Goonie! Goonie, save me! Goonie, save me! <laughs> we did get the two rate. Yes, we did. Goonie, save me! <laughs> That's my new catchphrase now. Alright. Except Goonie is just as likely to ruin me. Whee! Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. Oh wow, we're at 30 star points now. 
I mean, there's no way we're getting 100% on this level. I'm pretty sure we've missed some red coins in that first area, but... Oh, no. Well, yeah, if you run out of eggs, you gotta know that you can eat these. Oh, no! Wait, no, no, no! Oh, no, I... Oh, no. There was definitely something hidden up there. That's fine. I'll repeat this level. Well, maybe there wasn't... <laughs> maybe that just led to a one-up. Actually, there are a lot of red shells. Red shells. I've been playing too much Mario Kart. There are actually a lot of red coins in this area. Oh, well, we missed a lot. That's okay. I still had fun on that level. Oh my gosh, we actually get a bonus game. We finally get a bonus game. <laughs> I thought World 5 was just going to be... We only missed three red coins. We missed two flowers, but... I'm kind of surprised we got that many red coins. Mag, get one-ups from the slot machine. Oh, boy. Oh, this is one that we haven't gotten before. I don't believe in slot machines. Alright, time for the best level in World 5. One of my favorite levels in the game. Also, best boss fight in the game. Level 8, Raphael the Raven's Castle. Magnificent level. Definitely my favorite boss in the game in this as well. And what a ride into the castle. <laughs> to ride all of these <laughs> lightning fast red platforms. background in this dungeon is amazing. Pretty much everything in this dungeon is amazing. It's got some great puzzles. It's the right level of difficulty. It's not like incredibly and frustratingly difficult. It's just like a good level of it. clone another cannon? This is getting really annoying. Oh, 
trying to go up. Okay, you should go up. How the heck are you so Oh, I know what you gotta do. Oh man, we have to make a bullet bill go all the way over here. Oh my gosh, I love that puzzle. Oh yes, yeah, so and now we actually get to use these, uh, eat these. Don't tell anyone, but you can grab arrow lifts to use them somewhere else. I won't tell anybody. Secret safe with me. That's a ricochet. Oh man. Yeah, I love how the outer space feel this the Goonie saved me. Close fin. <laughs> Can I eat the ravens? I cannot. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Arrow, for always being there for me. That's bad. Oh yeah, they put red coins alongside other coins. Absolutely they do. There we go. Man, that room is difficult to get through. Boy, the train, everyone's favorite transformation. Or should I say transformation? Wow, who would have thought? You have to go this way in order to get the flower on the left. Can I at least use the train again? Thank you. That would have been rather irritating if I couldn't use the train again. <laughs> it was not a one-way ticket that I bought. I, could, I can ride it as many times as I want. Chugga, 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 chugga! It's nice of Raphael the Raven to have this in his castle. Wow, that was the last red coin. Wow, okay, we already have everything. Why can't Train go through the door? All we need is the last, uh... All we need is the last few star points. Yep. I 
think this is the end. Uh, no, now we have to use the plus 20. Oh my gosh. This is a death trap. Oh yay, I only have to use the plus 10. Alright, I just have to hope that I can beat Raphael or Raven without getting hurt. This is a great boss fight. Hey, buddy. You can, ah, uh, will, ah, uh, never enter the Koopa Kingdom! I banish you to forever twinkle in the heavens! Be gone! going to the moon, folks. <laughs> this is such a great fight. That didn't hurt him? So you have to hit the pegs, so that way it'll hit him on the opposite side. Super Yoshi Galaxy. There we go. He's turning red. He's gonna move faster now. Yes! Alright. Boom! I love that fight. You fight him on the moon, it's fantastic. And then he becomes his own galaxy. I'm trying to figure that out. Yes! World 5 is clear! That took a while. <laughs> it took over two hours to clear World 5. That's a, that's about right. Yay! We, and we opened bonus five. Even if we can't get the extra levels, that's fine. Bonus five. <laughs> Yo, she's running up all the mountains. Yoshi claims the skies for his own. And now it's like Dark Yoshi's Island? I never really understood this. We're now on World 6. But I think we might leave that to next time, honestly. I'm gonna try out what is bonus five here. Oh, it's the roulette. Oh, you gamble your lot. Oh, I see. Ah, I am not gambling. Night. Oh, okay. So roulette, you can literally choose how many lives you want to gamble. All right. Okay, I'm not playing roulette. No way. What's bonus for? 
Is this the match game? Oh, it is the match cards. My memory is still good. Yay! I remember that. But I don't remember the rest. Is that up here? No, that was Pal Block. Nope. Ah, rats. That's okay, I'm just playing these to remind myself what they are. I'm pretty sure World 2 is the scratch card. Drawing lots. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, boy, I get full eggs. Oh wow, none of them were Kamek. What a shocker. Alright, what time is it? It's free 15. I think I am going to call it a stream there, and then we can do... Next weekend, we can finish up the game. Then I might do a bonus stream where I start doing some of the secret levels, and I might try to 100% this? Probably not, because the even if I can get all the extra levels, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to 100% the extra levels. They're just brutal. Well, thanks for joining in, everybody. This is a ton of fun. I'm glad to, uh, you guys had fun. Hope I, I, <laughs> I almost said I hope I did, too. I did have fun. Uh, Sluggy the Unshaven was a little frustrating, but yeah. We should be able to beat this next stream. World 6 is a bit of a doozy, but I'm confident we can beat it. I've gotten to the final level before. I've gotten to the final boss before. I, I know I can do this, so... Thanks for joining in. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and God bless.